Hello everyone, welcome back to Mountain Shadows Arts Project. Uh, for today we will be painting Patrick on a rock. Look at how cute and creative this is. Um, in order to complete this, we will need the rock, just a regular small medium sized uh, oval shaped rock. A, you will also need a marker, a Q-tip, pink, purple, yellow, and white paint. You will need a cup of water with paint brushes. Um, and then I also got a piece of paper towel to avoid any messes. And in order to get started, I already got a head start. I painted half of the rock white where I will be painting Patrick. And the reason why we painted white um, is because we want these colors to look as bright and stand out just like this. Um, if we paint directly without having the white background, um, the colors will not be as bright, okay? So I already painted it white on one side. The other thing we are going to do is we are going to start by painting half of the body yellow or pink and the other half yellow. So I'm going to start with pink. I'm going to grab my paintbrush and just paint half of the body pink. And I'm painting only on the white part, okay? So let me... Let me go a little bit more down. Just to like this. Okay. So Half of Patrick is pink right now. The other half, I'm going to do yellow because those are his bottoms, okay? So I'm gonna grab this piece of um, paper towel and I'm just gonna place that there and I'm going to start painting the bottom half of them yellow. So it's just the other half that is white, we are going to paint it yellow. So I don't know if you could see this, but Patrick is pink and yellow right now. I'm going to let it sit and dry for a little. But once it's completely dry, the next thing we would do is we can either draw in the eyes, you know, the face features, or we can draw in the stars. Um, that are on Patrick's bottoms, but once this is completely dry We'll see we'll see what we will do next, okay?
let's see if I can start start drying in the eyes. For the eyes, it's gonna be super easy. All you're doing is uh, two dots. I'm gonna go ahead and do it with the Q-tip. Two dots on the pink. same q-tip and I'm gonna get some purple and do the bottom portion so the bottom portion um, in purple all we're doing is adding they look like somewhat like uh, plus signs a cross sign but they look like um, I guess stars I guess you could say um, when you actually see Spongebob and the and you see Patrick in any of the shows um, but we're gonna do those crosses in purple. I recommend you wait for this to completely dry so you can, you know, you don't mix the colors. But for the sake of the video, and I don't know how long it'll take for it to completely dry, um, I am going to just start drawing, drawing in the crosses. Okay, there's one. There's two. Three. Four. I'm going to do one more on this side. Alright. So, I have Patrick, who's almost completely done being painted. So, the next thing I recommend is wait for this to completely dry. And then we will draw in the face features, okay? For the face features, um, we gotta, with the marker, we gotta draw in um, around the eyes, the smiley face, the eyebrows, and then we gotta do somewhat of a, uh, a belt looking thing here um, in between the pink and yellow in order for you to distinguish like what, where his bottoms are and where his, you know, the top of his body is. All right, guys, once your Patrick is completely dry, we're going to go ahead and draw in the face features and the waistline. So I'm gonna go ahead by drawing in the eyes. So I already, I did white for the eyeballs. All I need to do is trace the white. With my black marker. And then I am going to draw in the eyebrows. And then I'm going to draw in smiley face just like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and draw this black line on the waistline to kind of make it look like a belt
Okay, and there we have Mr. Patrick Starr. This is what the final outcome will look like when you complete your Patrick Starr um, painting on a rock. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.